Well, that was peachy keen jelly bean, but now it's time for something completely different. Hello, hello, Steve, Canadian Sasquatch, coming at you with another third annual Canadian Sasquatch Mead Challenge Mead Review. And after four, that's right, four peach meads, it is time for something different. We have Baker's Boysenberry Mead. That's right, Grant Baker, the reigning cha champion of the Canadian Sasquatch Mead Challenge. He won it last year. Uh, this is his entry, Boysenberry. So we have, in the primary, was two kilos of Rowera honey, 750 grams of boysenberries, one cinnamon stick, two sprigs of saffron, uh, some go firm, firmade, uh, K1 1116 yeast. It's uh, one of these that I quite like using. Uh, original gravity of 1.113. Then in secondary, another 750 grams of boysenberries. Uh, final gravity was 1.011 after four weeks. Aged in keg for nine months before bottling. ABV, about 13%. Let's pop this puppy open. Alrighty, we popped it open. There was a slight hiss. Oh, that smells wonderful. I definitely get the boysenberries on that. So let's uh, go ahead, get you guys a pour. And we know Grant Baker knows how to make a mead. We're gonna leave it right there. We're gonna pull some aromas off this right now. Oh yeah, the boysenberries. Oh, brilliant. A nice dark, well, it's dark, uh, grape. Kind of like uh, over here on the Americas, Welch's grape. That's the grape I'm pulling off right now. With a little bit of... Uh, I want to say it's, I'm actually smelling the saffron. But yeah, that's smelling really good. It's brilliantly clear. You can see right through that. Gorgeous, deep, uh, ruby purple coloring. Absolutely gorgeous looking let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and give a taste cheers everybody cheers grant thank you once again for being on the challenge this year well that's interesting So there is a slight carbonation to it. I got a little bit of tingly around the tongue from that. Um, it's a little puckering. It's got that puckering of, oh, I need another sip. I need another sip. I'm getting like a woody uh, character to it. Uh, like branch, like just going out someplace and grabbing a branch and biting into it type woody character. Which isn't bad, that's just what I'm tasting. I'm just getting a very uh, faint hint of the actual boysenberries though in the flavor. It's much more prominent in the nose. Um, so yeah, so uh, And 
I think I'm pulling out some of that uh, raw wah 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 honey. Because uh, he does, he does like to use that honey. Where are you? Uh, primary. There you go. Raw, raw, raw. Re wear raw honey. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to let this warm up, and we'll be right back. And we're back. It's been about 30 minutes. This has warmed up a little bit. Still extremely crystal clear, and I did what I normally do. I dumped the rest of it in there. And it is still, yeah, just brilliantly crystal clear. So, very well done on that, Grant. Uh, that's another aroma. So, still getting the boysenberry. I get a little bit of a candy, like a... Like one of those fake candy fruit smells. Reminds me, um... I don't know what they're called, but they're like, uh, they're strawberries that are like marshmallowy type things. Um, but yeah, it reminds me very much of that aroma. And again, a little bit of the honey. And yeah, it's smelling very, very pleasant. I can just smell this. Um, but let's go ahead and get another taste on it. Uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers, Grant. Thank you once again for being in the third annual Mead Challenge. So the carbonation is still there, just very, very faint. Um, that lighting really is horrible, isn't it? Let's try that. So yeah, that carbonation is still there. Uh, I am picking up more of the boysenberries now. A lot more of the boysenberry. Um, this is definitely a warm drinking mead to be able to enjoy that. I'm still getting that, that pucker on that just makes me want to keep drinking it. Um, let's go through this again. So we're re re wear re wa honey. Uh, boysenberry cinnamon. Um, can't say I'm picking up any cinnamon. Saffron, a little bit of the saffron, and then yeah, uh, boysenberries and secondary. So let's. Very clean. Very tasty. Um, yeah, that's about all I got on this. It's once again, Grant. Very, very well done. Uh, there's a reason why you won last year. I'm a bit scared that it's going to be a repeat for you. Yeah, and I'm still getting a little bit of that, that woodiness, that fresh woodiness. Um, but, yeah, very very well done. Thank you, Grant. And with that, I'm going to say cheers, everybody. Be sure I have a pint of awesome. I know I will.